guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers for Capricorn. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, I'm so happy you landed here. Um, yeah, come in the comments, say hi. Let's get to know each other. I'm going to start with Guides of the Hidden Realms. Let me show you this. This is a brand new deck from one of my favorite Oracle creators, Colette Baron reed and Colette took an art class, painting, and um, these figures kept coming through. Um, she continued on after the class ended and uh, did a collection of these paintings that she really felt were guides that, were, that she was channeling. And so um, she had messages from each of them and then she worked with Hay House to put it into a deck. So let's see which guide of the hidden realms comes through for you. This is for all of you watching. Emergence of true knowing, card 41. Intuition, rigorous honesty, and inventory. Mm-hmm. That figure's interesting. It's the first time pulling the card. I'm going to um, read it to you out of the book so we can kind of learn her language for these um, guides. This says, true knowing comes most easily from an open heart and mind. Right now, you're faced with the opportunity to pivot towards something new and take a different route than before. Something in you knows the truth of the situation at hand. It will pay off to stop overthinking and instead open yourself to divine inspiration and deeper knowing. There is a distinct relationship between intuition and inspiration. Intuition is in service to inspiration. So keep exercising that intuitive muscle. It will lead you to a place in life better than you imagined. Your higher power is whispering within. Don't just listen, take the risk and take that step. A new, prosperous, and abundant adventure awaits. You are on the right track. I love this. And um, there is an element here that comes through that feels very ninth house Jupiter guided. Um, and Capricorn, because Capricorn, believe it or not, highly spiritual. <laughs> no, it's just, I've always seen the, the, the Capricorn, um, the glyph of the goat, right? Reaching the mountain peak against all odds and defying gravity. And to me, it's a message of trying to get to the summit where you can see all right how spiritual is that so the, the the closer to the divine um and to a broader perspective realms beyond what we see here in our 3d world so i kind of like that that construct along with the ninth house themes of expansion and spiritual wisdom along with both signs capricorn and sag having a lot of strong intuitive gifts so Emergence of true knowing is in service um, to inspiration. Great message for you. I love it. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull the spread. It is a split soulmate spread. I'll give you my general impressions, and then we'll jump in and get the details from the clarifiers. As always, it can come through reversed, so... Um, whichever side of the spread speaks more to you, claim that. It is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. There's a link in the description box always that will take you to that information. Here we go, Capricorn. Okay. Emergence of true knowing about your connection. I'm loving that. There's the inspiration. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Powerful Leo energies here. Oh, Capricorn, something powerful is shifting. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm going to read this one part again because it just slipped my um, memory. Hold on. 
I know, it's, it's feeling like something's happening here. It says, there is a distinct relationship between intuition and inspiration. Intuition is in service to inspiration, so keep exercising that intuitive muscle. It will lead you to a place better than you imagined. Your higher power is whispering within, don't just listen, take the risk and, that, and take that step. And then it said a new prosperous and abundant adventure awaits you are on the right track. So the reason why I wanted to read that again is I'm seeing some kind of a big shift here. We have the aces, we have the two of cups, the knight of cups. Um, in your block or challenge, you are each almost sort of aware of the need to work through something to kind of reach that pinnacle of success in your connection. So that's where we begin. Um, for your person coming through with the Ace of Wands, like I said, they're, they're feeling that gift of, you know, divine gift of inspired passion, um, the motivation, the inspiration to take the action um, their blocker challenges, they're not happy right now. They, they may be if you're at a distance from each other or they're concerned about um, being successful and then in, you know, in the connection, of course. And then um, their opportunity is to kind of get their game face on. Get up and get over it. Right? It's all fire energy here. Grab that ace of wands and, and, and go. Um, so the strength card is about overcoming obstacles, but it comes from a deep reservoir of strength, courage, and confidence to know that you even can overcome the obstacle. So while this person may sit with some doubts of their capacity to be successful and, and, and get that happiness, uh, they're going to have to take a chance on it, right? So you're coming in with the Knight of Cups. That's talking about um, emotional availability, vulnerability. It's romantic. Knights take action. So this could be your thoughts about this person coming toward you with some emotional vulnerability, um, some uh, capacity to bring their heart straight to you, um, unfiltered. And your blocker challenge is this is something that needs to be focused on and worked through, and you kind of can't do it on your own. Um, so in your opportunity in the near future is the Ace of Cups, which is beautiful because it's sort of suggesting that you're both in a frame of some kind of new up leveling of this connection reigniting the torch of passion in this connection the awareness of the power of the gift of the connection there's something that i definitely feel is happening in a good way so let's get the details shall we two of cups There's something here with regard to communicating um, your different approaches. In other words, there, there are things that can be surface level and then we got to get down to brass tacks, right? The, the page of wands is optimistic. So I do feel there's a potential positive message coming in, but we want to make sure that it goes deep enough where we're talking about the give and take the investment, being equally committed to, invested, generous with each other in equal measure. There's something here that feels like it needs to be taken a bit more seriously or talked through at a deeper level, but I am seeing there's some optimism around that. Let's get the Ace of Wands for your person, their present energy. Okay. So if something went a little sideways here, I, it's possible that this person has avoided dealing. That's what I'm feeling by that page of wands with the superficiality, you know, something su surface level. And it could be that this person you're dealing with is now seeing that opportunity to come in to kind of say, yeah, I didn't mean it that way, or I'm sorry if I was avoidant or... Um, you questioned my intentions. There's an opportunity here for reunion, for second chances, for reconciliation of anything that 
um, didn't pass the sniff test. The two of pentacles, though, is this person sort of kind of stalling for time a little bit. The ace is, is there. They know it. This is their opportunity. They got to seize the moment. And I see that they need to kind of overcome maybe some lack of confidence, but they're hedging right now. So I I'm, I'm feel like I'm looking at someone who tends to be a little bit more avoidant and maybe their um, approach to, you know, the, the way that that manifests is something that's a little less serious. It's a little more flirtatious, fun, frivolous, doesn't go too deep down because I am feeling a lot of fire energy from this person. Um, it could just be in, in their chart or they could literally be um, an Aries Leo or a Sag, predominantly Leo. But it feels like this is someone who in the past has kind of kept it cheap and cheerful and it, it failed miserably. And now they're like, oh, I have this opportunity to kind of right the wrong here, fix it. But I don't know what the timing is around that. So um, let's look at the sun in their block or challenge. The moon lands on the sun, the page of cups of five. Yeah, this is someone who knows deep down that they do owe an apology for the conflict, for the tension, um, anything disruptive. Yeah, and they still kind of shrink with some intimidation, some fears and insecurities being triggered. I, I get the impression also that not only is this can this person tend to sort of um, avoid going deeper, which is why this Knight of Cups is so important to you, um, but that they also know that they're, you know, that this is probably something that has failed them before, right? Um, the sun usually talks about our success, our happiness, um, our ability to feel safe and protected in our vulnerability. It, 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 it's our, it's our consciousness, it's our identity, it's who we are. Um, and our conscious awareness, I should say. And it feels like this is somebody who prefers to live in the shadows, right? Or kind of dodge, dodge the, the, the more challenging conversations, the, the depths um, of their feelings, but they know on some level um, that that's probably not serving them well in their connection with you and that they, their blocker challenge is approaching you, um, not being too afraid to approach you with just a sheer apology. Didn't mean it, my bad, I'm sorry. Strength card in their opportunity. Woo, yes, going on faith, taking that first step um, the way to restore the balance here and the harmony here is to just take the accountability, just do it. Um, there's, this is part of a learning opportunity for this person, how to um, have the faith that their effort, that their, you know, that bold uh, step will pay off because I get the impression it hasn't in the past. So the answer to this person's issues here in their blocker challenge is to face it head on, to trust that they're being guided to do so for the right reasons, take the accountability justice that is needed, and be prepared to, to learn something. Um, the page of pentacles underneath just feels like, you know, it's the first step of many more to come, and the page of pentacles has something to teach us. It's like the beginning of um, the first steps in a new environment or a new situation or trying out a new approach to something after a lifetime of doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a di different result. So this feels like the shift into a different approach. Okay, and the opportunity for them is now. So let's see for you with the Knight of Cups. Yes. Reunion, reconciliation. I do believe you feel that this connection is fate and destiny. We have emotional maturity in the King of Cups. The King of Cups struggles, though, often 
to um, communicate the depth of their feelings. And it's not for the lack of the feelings. It's because that's where all their vulnerability lives. Okay, so sometimes they put on, put on a happy face, but you know the truth of the situation is their insecurities are bigger than that. Um, so what I'm seeing here is you are open to reunion, um, a reconciliation if that's required, but you are open to receiving something that feels authentic to you. Um, and actually that is part of um, the divine timing of it all. The, that is a theme that I was getting from your oracle. This is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius, and I was feeling that sort of divine timing of it, um, being honest, spiritually honest, emotionally honest is what you're after with this person. Eight of Pentacles is your blocker challenge. Yeah, you want to get beyond this difficult, challenging situation. You'd want, you want to move to calmer waters, um, but you, you're kind of keep meeting up with pushback and resistance, and it's getting in the way of the happiness. See, so their blocker challenge is showing up in yours too. And you're open to working on it because that's the only way you can get past it, is if you both sort of hunker down and focus on a creative solution to a problem that's probably simple. Um, you know, and it, it does require some deeper communication. This is something that, you know, can't be on, on roller skates. It, it's got to be something that there's communication about reciprocity and investment in something because you can't build on anything if you're not mutually invested. So I can see where the, the, this is a struggle for you, but the good news is this person is also aware of the tension and um, the conflict, and they feel, I can see some sincerity um, around that, like, like yeah, that's not, that's not what I mean, it's not what I want, but they, their fears are sort of running the show right now. That's why they have the strength card for their opportunity going forward. And that opportunity is being handed to them now. So it's sort of a simultaneous experience. For you, the Ace of Cups is in your opportunity. Wow, Capricorn. I do see a cause for celebration, reconciliation. Um, I feel like it's almost like it feels too good to be true. A lot of healing coming from this as soon as this person um, has trust, right? That they, that like, like it's on them to sort of take that first step. Um, but what's waiting on them on the other side of that is so powerful, so beautiful. Um, it will pay off in dividends for this person. And for you, you get that comfort of like, wow, this is, this, what, this is exactly what I thought it was. It was meant to be. We, we have this beautiful sacred connection. I just needed this person to see it for what it is and invest in it. Um, on an emotional level. Boom. Jackpot. So that's what I see for you so far here, Capricorn. Um, I am going to take it to the extended. Uh, this sort of Knight of Cups, King of Cups person for you is who I'm going to focus on so we can kind of dive a little deeper into what's going on with them and their approach to the connection with you, how they see you, what their intentions are, all of that. So there are links to that below. Keep in mind, just a reminder, if you just want the one extended, it says one time extended. That's this one. If you want um, the monthly, it says Capricorn monthly, you get four collections for pretty much access to four collections pretty much for the price of one so that works more like a netflix subscription so i just want to make you aware of that and before i give you the astrology here i have been telling everybody and i've seen it really making a difference that um and so if you've heard my little talk before you can skip ahead 
the algorithm on YouTube is ever changing and fluctuating. And back about a month ago, um, at the end of May, I noticed something that wasn't making sense. And um, big drops in views, big drops in subscription of you know people subscribing. And I've been on the platform five years, so sometimes there's highs and lows. And what got in my head was, oh, well, people are getting out of school, summer stuff. But then in June, it's like the channel went dark. Um, and some activity, but I would say a 90% reduction in new subscribers and a 30 to 35% reduction in views. I know that's talking math, and but it that's what this platform is about. That's what the algorithm does, right? So I did a little investigation and um, yeah, I, we, we get these creator updates where they like at least let us know in their own way, um, very favorable to them, of course, what, you know, what changes they're making. And of course I missed it. Um, and the new algorithm is uh, uh, prioritizing was the word, new, new, new creators, new channels and shorts. So I don't begrudge anybody who's new to YouTube the, the right to have their stuff put out in front of people and be prioritized that way. I was new once and boy, that would have really been helpful. Maybe it wouldn't have taken me four to six months to, to get this thing up and running. So I, I don't begrudge anybody that. That's not my point and I'm not complaining and saying you shouldn't watch new channels. What I'm saying is they're taking a bunch of us that are not making them the big bucks, meaning the influencers are still getting put in front of everybody and now brand new babies are getting put in front of everybody and then all the attention is going to shorts to compete with TikTok. So the channel has taken a bit of a hit. I cannot stay on this platform if I cannot support myself. So I, I, what I'm trying to say is it's new subscribers and views that get me seen. So now that we know that this is an issue, I am making this very humbling ask. Please take a moment, go into, and several of you have done it um, from other signs that I have done readings for, and it has definitely made a difference. Um, in fact, it turned a lot of the negatives into like, I'm getting closer to my baseline, which is really good. But what they've done is they've like, gone into my playlists and they just started watching videos or watching one that they watched two months ago. And, you know, one person just goes in and, and leaves emoji bombs in the comments. And, um, and then of course I see that and I go back in and reply. So uh, anything you can do <laughs> to help a girl out is greatly appreciated. I love you all. I come here, I give you this free content from my heart i i rarely ask for anything but if you enjoy my work and you haven't already please please subscribe and um if you feel called to do so share it you know be a friend let someone know i'm here um and yeah hopefully we can turn this around so i can stay on this channel um or keep the channel that's what i have for you so let me give you the astrology Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Pluto. The judgment card is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. The sun is the sun. That rules um, Leo. The moon is Pisces. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The strength card is Leo. The star is Aquarian energy, Libra in the justice card. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for our Page of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, more Pisces. Gemini and the Lovers. Uh, Jupiter, I said, is the Wheel of Fortune, which rules Sagittarius. Scorpio in our King of Cups. The Sun is here twice. And that's what I have. Fabulous Oracle. I love that for you. Um, the Emergence of True Knowing, right? Trust your intuition in this situation. I'm going to head to the Extended and see what our King of Cups is up to. I'll be, I'll be there in a minute. Bye for now.